Welcome to my wrestling magazine collection. Today, I'm gonna show you the final super cards I have. Super cards 2000. It came in this mylar bag with no like cardboard spine to hold it. This has a picture of Super Crazy holding the ECW television title. Sid Vicious ready to choke slam Jeff Jarrett and The Rock. Ready to lay the smackdown on Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. This covers WrestleMania 2000, WCW Uncensored 2000, and Living Dangerous 2000. Sadly, this will be the final Living, Living Dangerously and Uncensored, as both WCW and ECW will go out of business in 2001. So it was kind of heartbreaking. It was also around the time that both WCW and ECW were in the toilet. You know, both companies only. WWF was kicking ass. First, we talk about WCW Uncensored. Like the previous three, there's some sections are in black and white, in this case, pink. While the other, well, some are in full color. This article talks about WCW Uncensored 2000. Most of the criticism comes from the Rick for a Hulk Hogan strap match, thing more like a rerun of the previous Uncensored. And I won't blame him. But I don't know, some matches were good. I, I thought the you know, like, the, the best match was Vampiro vs. Philly, and, yeah, it's bad, and they named the Ric Flair Hulk Hogan the worst match, so, that wasn't a good sign. Well, to be fair, WCW also did, like, like crazy things, like, like, the wall took something bad, maybe go for a ringside table, wall, Took something crowbar, the knobs, the hardcore tile match. Dustin Rhodes and Terry Funk being in trouble with a cowbell. And the Scott Steyer smashing Hulk Hogan's head with a guitar. And then Bill Pirol for Philly fight. I wouldn't say it's the worst. It's the worst. wouldn't say it's the worst. On center, I think that Tile Iyer belongs to 95 or 96, but still, it wasn't that good. Especially when you realize it was their last on center before they went out of business. Here's a picture of Hulk Hogan. You know, I, I think fans would have forgiven him more of the Sid Vicious Jeff Jarmack close to show instead of the Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. It would have been more forgivable. And here's a picture of the wall gonna choke about the choke slam crawl bar off the stage. This one's about WrestleMania 2000. Some criticize this event for not having any one-on-one -on -one matches, which I think is unfair. There was a single one-on-one -on -one match. It was between Tori and the Cat, but even that wasn't that good. Don't get me wrong, WrestleMania was still better on censor. But the, but the most infamous criticism comes from having only one one-on-one -on -one match and making every other match like a multi-person, like, like a tag team match. But this, this was all, WrestleMania 2000 was also like the host of the tables match between the Dudleys, the Hardys, and Edge of Christian, which will be named Match of the Year in that of 2000 it also marked like the debut the debut of Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko and Peter Sanders they left WCW for WWF and this will be the first time that a heel wrestler won at Wrestlemania yeah the heel won it was Triple H defeated The Rock, Big Show and McFoley and this will be Mick Foley's last match as a regular wrestler. He will go on to be occasional, but this was his last match as a regular wrestler. 
with the McMahon at every corner. There was Vince and Rock's corner, Stephanie and Troy's corner, Linda and McFoley's corner, and Shane and Big Show's corner. I mean, to tell you, it was also a four-way elimination match. It was a host of the 13-man hardcore battle royal, which was still pretty good and had an awful ending. And here's the final Living Dangerously. You suddenly do a J Do review of it, or if you've seen Wrestling with Regrets review of it, you know that originally it was supposed to be Mike Austin defending his title against Rob Van Dam, but Rob Van Dam got injured. Unable to defend his TV title, thus we had to have a tournament. The first one was between... It was between Super Crazy and Little Guido, which Super Crazy won, then... Then Rhino defeated Sandman by forfeit for obvious reasons. Also, this mark, like, also hosted, like, the infamous bull row match between Dustin, D Dusty Rhodes and Steve Corrido. And you see right there, that's the referee helping him, helping Dusty get his revenge on Steve Carrillo. In the finals, it was Rhino for Super Crazy, which obviously Super Crazy won. Also, it had the infamous die where, where it was between Big Grimes and New Jack. New Jack got horribly injured after that dive. Like, he, he, I think he got blind in one eye. And here's a color part like Hokumea lives, Evil Vince returns, and Kareel gets fresh. <laughs> Those were the quote unquote. As you can see, this is the part, part of the section that was colored. There's also like. A Q&A, like an interview with Rob Van Dam. I will show you that in a little while. Here it is, the the Q&A, the press conference with Rob Van Dam. This talking about his like his injury that prevented him from defending the heat title. There's also an article on clean sleeper Christopher Daniels relative new card at time. Christopher Daniels won the ECWA Super 8 tournament of that year. He won the whole thing. You may not recognize him, but that's Chris Daniels right there. Yes, yeah, shocking. Chris Daniels had hair. <laughs> this also talks about like the dozen, like the Dynamite Dozen 12, like the best matches on Supercards and Pair of View. Keep in mind, this was before the other matches would come. This was before, like, CM Punk versus John Cena. It features Rick Steamboat versus Macho Man. It features Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon. Under a Giant versus Hulk Hogan. Rick Flair versus Kerry Von Eric. Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they have a nasty have us splitting these in half. And also has a cave between Owen Hart and Bret Hart with Flair and Ricky Steamboat. And the interview where Bob Van Dam continues. <laughs> There's also like a hot shot of you know who not you know who it's it was between Jeff Patterson and Jaguar, and it was in the ECWA Super 8 tournament. There's also like an advertisement for an ECW video game coming soon, but they weren't doing so well at the time, so they also there's also an advertisement like for like like 22 karat gold cards, like go go doing. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I, well, there you have it. Supercard 2000. Bye.